luxury brands lose excitement as thriftiness takes over in this slowing economy. I'm Brent Wilsey with Wilsey Asset Management. Luxury brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Chanel have seen a big decline in their sales growth. These luxury brands have increased their prices so much to try and keep their products exclusive. The pushback towards exclusivity came after the COVID giveaway years where many consumers became short-term purchasers. Unfortunately, this has turned off their normal elite customers who saw how ridiculous it was to see prices climb from 2019 to 2024 by 50 to 100%. They may be rich, but they are not stupid. As things have slowed on social media and YouTube, frugality has become cool once again. This includes talking about the deals you got or even buying knockoffs, which have a new name called dupes. On many of the posts on social media and other places, it is now cool to show off your dupe that you purchased and how much you saved. I remember a couple years ago, I talked about how the hype for expensive purses and brand names just would not continue to rise. I think we have now hit the turning point where many people will pay those high prices for purses or shoes will not be able to sell them for anything close to what they paid for them. The reason for that is you're no longer competing on price with the brand names, but now many consumers buying secondhand will compare that price to the dupe price and want to get a discount compared to the dupe price. I would not recommend investing in any money in these ultra luxury stocks, even though some are down between 40 and 50%. Many of them still trade at lofty valuations and sales growth has been cut from 20 to 30% all the way down to 2%. Stay ahead in the investment world by subscribing to our YouTube channel and weekly newsletter for the latest economic news, expert analysis, and market insights.